so hey guys welcome back to my channel so in today's video we will see how to create an uv4 racing game and which will be with hyper realistic and we will also develop a ca advanced car dynamic system also with ourselves so for what we can do is click here on games and see here next and see a blank project and go to the next and what we will just do is we will use cpp so what what we are going to do is we are going to do this all the stuff using c++ and we will be also using the blueprints so we will be using both of those and say name the project so i will name it racing one and hit on the create project after the project gets created so to, what we will do is go to the edit tab and click on the project settings so when you come here what you have to do is go to the physics tab in the engine so in the engine physics tab so first what we will change the first value is so we will have we will change first is the default gravity three so it will be down in constants so just change it to 1500 so believe me or not it makes the game look more realize realistic in case of racing games so then just find the max max depression velocity And also we have to enable the sub-stepping and set the del delta time to 0 0.01 second. Just remove that all delay. And then just see what up. And up. So yes so here it is so what we have to do is set it to 200 so we have to change some settings for racing games because the settings are not made for that and then what we have to do is change the minimum contact offset to 1 and maximum also to 1 so all the things for subset stepping and this was for better animations and then what we will do is go to the multiplier and set it to 0 0.01 and then in the engine tab here just below physical materials so we have to just add some materials so it will be asphalt and dirt then water then rock and let's say metal and grass metal grass then gravel gravel and sand sand and then we have to add field so these are all just the physical surface so what we can do with these surfaces that we can get the collision and many other stuff and here track t capital and then vehicle and then shield No and teleport. So these are the all physics material we will be having in the game. So if you want to add something else like some other platform like uh, let's take for some other platform. So here we have asphalt, dirt, water. So you can also say here mud but we can just do it with the water. So 
we will not need that so next thing what we will do is go to the rendering here we, the next step rendering and then what you have to do is uh, all of static lighting to false because we will be not using it and then uh, let's see so set this also to disable we will be not using it and uh, that's it so the next thing what we will do is go to the collision tab so collision and in the collision what we will add is a new object channel so so in the new object channel i will add the first thing which I will add in the object channel will be missile. Then the next thing will be vehicle shell. Vehicle shell. Vehicle shell. So just set, set it to ignore. Then after vehicle shell we will add static camera. Static camera. And also set this to ignore so the next thing the most difficult thing of them all is creating trace stand channels so first we will create a trace channel for vehicle camera vehicle camera camera and press accept then after vehicle camera we will do line of sight test so mm -hmm. set all these to block line of sight so then the next thing is vehicle spring means the spring arm which we will atta attach and the suspensions of the vehicle so next thing we will add is line of sight test so i will just copy this and say cancel so line of sight test for vehicle so i will just add here inc vehicle and then we have to add terrain following And set this also to block then go to the preset here a new preset called missile. missile and the collision will be query only and then the type will be missile which we created and the description will be dynamic missile and then we have to change the values so right over here the values will be so the trace type should be set to 1 because it will be used in all that and object type should be used in a world static world dynamic form physics body and in vehicles it should be not used and then and it is destructible and then it is a miss missile and vehicle shell it is not a vehicle it should be block and then static camera so after this setting just click on accept then you will see we have a missile created here then similarly we will create another query for vehicle shell so i will say here vehicle shell vehicle shell and here we will say collision enabled and here also we will say vehicle shell and description i will say vehicle shell and then I will select the trace type of the vehicle shell so we will it should be visible camera then 
line of sight test vehicle spring and line of test and see vehicle so and tail in following so we have to ignore these main things and these will be set to block and then the object type so for the object type i will set so this to the overlap world dynamic also to overlap and then pawn and then vehicle should be also set to ignore then what we will do is set this and that so now add this to the query and the one more setting we will add so that setting will be of force field so the query i will add it here force field force field so in the force field what we have to do is set the collision enabled and then the next thing what we have to do is set this to world static and also i will copy this for force field paste it and add up space so next thing what i will do is go to the go to mm -hmm. the trace and here i will save one mm -hmm. so and the next property will be also mm -hmm. one mm -hmm. and set this also to one and then what i will just do is set the all to the three and the else will be here and i will add this to the query and then i will add one more query which will be static of static camera so we will need no collision for static camera so then the next thing is we have to set the object type to also static camera and i will say here camera dynamic static camera so i have written the description for it and then the trace type should be all to the ignore because camera doesn't needs and then the object types should be also all to the ignore but vehicle shell should be now so then what we will do is add it to the query so let's see the vehicle is created yes it's already created so we will edit some of the values if they are okay then we will keep as it is so let's see so here ignore 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 and then we will set this as block so this is for inc vehicle so it's it must be used in vehicle so then the next thing also we will he also we will set all to the ignore and these entry will be for the block and next we will add it to the edit and then after editing it we will go to the trigger so here it is and we will say edit so in the trigger what we will do is again modify these values set these both to true and these all to ignore and just below it thing what we will edit is the trigger so here we will go to the edit trigger and here what we will just do is modify the trace so we will ignore all so we have to just use the visibility so it should be visible camera and vehicle camera and then the next thing is what we have to do next is so actually it should be not in the vehicle camera so we can set it to overlap ignore will be also okay so next thing we will set so it's perfect so set all the settings to this and then it will be completed then accept and then we have successfully completed our set so after you have changed the settings then what you can just do is say a new folder and name this maps 
so actually I have this folder created right over here so what I will just do is see here file new level and I will see here default and scale this floor to 250 by 250 and you can see the texture and save this in the maps folder I will call it my map 1 and yes so now here we have our folder then I will create here a new folder I will name this vehicle so I messed up this so vehicles and then what I will just do is double click on this and see here import to and here I will select my car UE4 model so I will give its link in the description and make sure you have selected the skeletal mesh and say also make sure that you have selected create new materials and say import so now it is importing so after it gets import what you will do is go to the skeletal mesh section and let's make sure so everything is rigged for properly then we will go to the physics section I will delete this body and what you have to just do is go to the options section and say here show all mesh boards and here what I will just do is select here single convex hull by selecting the body and I will say add bodies so you can see we have a body and here what I will just do is say here single convex hull and add physics bodies and I will just do that for all and there we go then I will save this and save this and save this so now what have we have done is created a physics body for all of this, those wheels and for the body and if you can see we have properly done it then close this and go here then just drag this vehicle right over here okay so just check that you are not having any space between this and then what you can just do is save the project and I, what I will just do is say here save all and what I will do is say here play and so it's showing when lightning object needs to be rebuilt so don't worry about that so now you can see we have a working camera with a car so what you can just do now is say go to your build and click on this arrow and see your build lighting only so it will take some time so i will meet you again after it complete so now it has been completed so now it's building the lighting so so what i will just do is save all and after it builds then close the hue for editor and that's it for today's tutorial and thanks for watching